Hi everyone, it's Kelly here at Walkell Mall and I have a card that I want to share with you for my project for the rubber buggy this week. The image that I used was a magnolia riding along Matilda on a bicycle. I wanted to make a Christmas card so I used um, candy cane colors for her dress and those were R59 and R29 on her dress and her headband and then I used the same colors on her shoes and those are cardinal and lipstick red and then for the flowers in also red I did use the card or the R59 again but then I also used R27 so after I did that, I colored the bicycle, and those um, okay. The bicycle, the chrome on the bike, I used um, T4 and T5, and then the wheels, I used those same colors and T7. So they're all grays. Let me show you here was these three for the bicycle. Okay, so then I did uh, her skin and I did not have my, I had three colors for skin and they all, um, two of the colors went dry. So I am stuck now with just E02. However, I use um, BV31 around the edge just to give it depth and I learned that from um, that was I believe oh my goodness I can't think of her name right now that was a technique that I learned from she's a greeting farm designer but she used she uses the sort of lavender gray around the outside to give it sort of a shade. Why can't I think of, I can't think of who it is, but um, if I think about it, I'll put it in the link below, but that's how I did that. And then for her cheeks, I just used RV02. So her hair um, was pretty thick and curly. So I wanted it to have the darker colors where the curl might fall. And I really like how this turned out. I used three different colors for that. They were E49, E47, and E25. I used very little of E25. It was mostly the darker, the E49 and E47. And then I did use the same colors on her hair as the same colors of the road. I did draw the road on and then I used, um, let me see here, I have YG67 and YG03 are what I used for the grass and for the um, greenery in her basket. And then I colored her basket with E25 and then I used a white gel pen to draw the the lines of the basket on so that's how I did that Joe paper drama that's who it is it's Joe paper drama I'm pretty sure that's who I saw that and learned that from so then what I did was I used a new paper pad that I got if I can find it here yeah. It's a new Prima pad. So the background paper that I used came from the 6x6 paper pad called Anna Marie. And it has some really, really beautiful papers in. You can see the colors of the papers here. I'm um, using this one as my background. So those are the papers from that. And if you want to see them closer, um, just leave me a comment below and I'll show you those. 
Then I used, this is a Petaloo flower from my stash, and that was from a pack that I had gotten at, it was an online store. Um, it was one of the, it was either Hobby Lobby or, it was one of those, but um, they came in a pack like this. And then I used these little tiny bows that I got after Christmas last year and most of them look like this so I used a green one and a red one Christmas colors I used some bling from Recollections and I it was like this and I cut it apart I put some down here and then I put some um, up here and then I just recently got this die from La La Land Crafts and I actually ordered it from Amazon because I had a gift card and I cut that out with red glitter paper and I just adhered it to the top and everything is sitting on a doily so I popped up the card front the image I did pop it up and that is how I created that card so I will have pictures up on the rubber buggy website for their blog and I'll have the links below so I hope that you like it comment and have a Merry Christmas bye